Hello and welcome back to this let's play of Sid Meier's Civilization as the Indians. I made up my mind now on where to place the city, so we'll go with that original placement there. We'll build another one here and a third city on the swamp tile up here. I think that's the best way to divvy up that continent. It might not be perfect, but that, I, I think I'll be happy with that. So let's continue and see if we can not lose more wonders. So we'll build a new city here. Jaipur. And Jaipur will not build a defensive unit because they'll inherit one. Orders home city. And it now belongs to Jaipur. Of course, the city doesn't have shields, which I probably should have checked first. Better do that. Okay, now it can actually sustain the city. Sustain the unit. It'll have to grow, though, before it can actually build anything. Oh well. We need more settlers now. We need to, we need to steal this continent. I also want to buy the observatory outright, if I can. That city needs help. We could use more diplomats. So do we send him away just to explore? I think we'll do that. The French army can't reach us though. Not for a lack of trying, I think. Oh dear, barbarians. And quite strong barbarians. Well, this is a problem. This is a pretty big problem. I wonder, how can you salvage that situation? I will reach Jaipur before. Yeah, he'll reach Jaipur before I have a chance to defend him. Oh, my goodness, what boy did he get all happy about? Maybe they were happy that the barbarians didn't land anywhere near them. Okay, we need more food. Oh dear, we lost our city. Ah oh well, that was a nice, nice setback. Uh, at least the other barbarians despawn. So maybe those guys will despawn as well, but... Yes, mourn the demise of Jaipur. Now this city is quite large. So I think we'll use him to settle. Settle the continent above. No rush buying. And the English probably share his continent since he knew them. Let's see if we can find London. Other than that, we need to see if we can actually finish the observatory soon. I want the observatory simply because of the technology advantage it'll give. We'll need that soon enough. Karachi built a settler. Yes, I think we'll build a library here. He could use another defensive unit, but still too the city is still too small for that. Another city. In Tombe without defensive units.
So the Zulus are probably trailing a bit behind. They don't have one advisor. The, the number of advisors is actually a show of strength, so... Can we discover engineering? The science of engineering originated with the civil engineers who built bridges, roads, aqueducts and other, and other structures, and the military engineers who built fortifications and weapons. Over time, engineering came to mean the design, construction and operation of the structures and machines of industry, warfare and day-to-day -day life. Engineers were the people who put the new advances of knowledge to practical, practical use. They were people not only good with their hands, but also with their heads. The engineering problem solver uh, was most likely to discover a new invention and lead the, ad lead the advance of knowledge. Okay. We do not want to research an invention either, I think. But navigation is safe. We know someone had navigation. And already built the wonder. So we built a mine for Lahore, but didn't seem to be interested in uh, populating it. Oh, okay. It's worse than the forests. Oh. Oh well. And we'll keep sending him up. Oh, Arctic terrain. So are we close? Getting close? No, oh, it'll take a few more turns. We aren't particularly happy anymore. Or rather these happiness boosts expire quite quite fast. Let's see. Where should we build another farm? Probably up here. He needs to farm this square up and that square. Unfortunately, we need water for that. So I guess we go here for that first. And you'll just build roads. You're going there. More barbarians. Now this is becoming quite... quite painful. I don't want all these barbarians landing on our, sh on our shores. Now I remember what I wanted to use the boat for. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Let's build a triremi then, another one. As for this one, we'll have to make a small gamble. Yeah, we have to gamble, see if we can make him... Make them go away with our, with our chariot. Though if he goes up in the mountain... Hmm. We'll have to wait there and hope he moves onto the plains rather than the mountain square. Pirates plunder Calcutta. Oh. Huh. Okay, this is bad. Move away. Wait there. And you will try to kill him. Oh my goodness. That is not good. Not good at all. And I think I will try to reinforce because now it's apparent we'll have to defend Delhi. So even if we'll take some unhappiness by moving the units out, that's preferable to losing the entire city. Let's actually finish the observatory. 
despite the barbarian threat. With three units he shouldn't be able to destroy it at least. And you are definitely going to build a, a defensive unit. Not that you finish it in time. Karachi throws a party. Let's just wait there for a moment. You can build a farm. You defend, and you defend. Hopefully, hopefully that'll be enough to, to keep the city safe. The barbarians have been quite troublesome for us. There's certainly a city there. Now let's hope that we can actually defend Delhi. Meanwhile, we get to build another section of palace. So let's finish that part. That's one way incomplete. Or for this tier anyway. Yay! We beat back the barbarian hordes. Finally. So now we can move the set that one go back to Calcutta. Let's see, we had another unit, didn't we? But we fortified him, so I'll have to unfortify him. Let's see, Bombay, wake up. Move back to Bombay. And Bombay finishes the marketplace. I think a Colosseum is due here. Oh, a barbarian? Or is it the English? No, that's... Yeah, I think that the, that's the English. See, how are we doing now? Let's see. Not what I was after. Demographics. And we seem to be doing fairly well now. First in approval, first in population, first in production and goods. Third in literacy, though. We might have to switch gears. That's definitely the English. I'm going to build more roads. They're still unhappy about the Triremi being away. So... I think we're going to build settlers. We need to see if we can settle that northern continent. We'll get a new ship from Calcutta and then... We'll start shipping up troops and settlers and everything. wealthiest civs. We're only sixth. That surprises me because we've been building up a bit of money. Oh well. That 
What's the library done? Yeah, above glory shall build another settler. Just build a city up in the mountains there. And that's another color, I think. Or is that the French? I'm not sure. Let's see, this is Delhi's. There is little dude. Let's go down and start clearing swamplands. And we discover navigation. The sailors of antiquity studied the night sky. Reading the, reading the sky map, they could sail away from, from sight of the shore, knowing that steering by certain reliable stars would bring them home. This crude practical application of astronomy allowed the adventurers to sail into the unknown with a reasonable chance of finding their way. Wind-powered ships risked longer voyages, tempted by the knowledge, trade, and new settlements offered by distant lands. The maps of the known world expanded as blanks were filled in by the reports of the sailors who had mastered navigation. Hmm. And the Magellan's expedition wonder, which we've already lost, unfortunately. Hmm. And let's go with physics. Oh yes, I forgot to use our wealth to actually leverage these things. Karachi needs water access, so let's go there. We can try to build a mine here while we wait for the new ship. <laughs> Maybe we should rush by this one as well. That'll take a while though. Kolkata finished their ship. I think they're gonna build a second settler. We need to need to aggressively take control of that continent. Before the barbarians torch it all. And I think Bangalore was building another settler. So we'll go ahead and use this one to found the city right away right away. And I think it's time to activate one of these. That'll make the people of the city very unhappy. Oh yeah, they did not like that. There we go. I think I'm immediately going to wake this one up. Start moving. Delhi did the same thing, finished a settler. So we're going to make them very unhappy as well. Unfortunately, we can't unload that one just yet. So, we could probably build another city here, but do we want to build it? Close to Karachi and get that land square. No, I think we'll build it right here in the mountains. Yeah, and this city needs growth help. Let's continue. Continue with farms.
So there seems to be three saves on that continent, the Zulu, the French and the English. And with any luck they'll kill each other. Do we want to risk sending out the unit as well? No, we won't. We will build the aqueduct. Okay, we farm that square. Let's farm that one. And let's land you there. We could build, make it an inland city, actually. Safely in this little nook. That, that we, let's see, we'd gain these two forest squares and the hills versus that one and sea access. Let's do that, actually. Let's make an inland city. And then there's this one. kind of like having the forests, because forests mean more production. So, long term, they're very good. Mm. Let's go build the mine here. You'll have to wait for the settler to arrive. Here we go. And we're going to build that small city. Hi there, Abad. See, was it Calcutta? Yeah, Calcutta is building yet another settler. So, that will probably be the last settler that we build, at least with the, t the intention of building a new city. So, we'll just keep our trireme around here. And we're going to settle this square again. Bengal this time. May it not suffer the fate of Jaipur. It will not build a military unit. It will build a granary. And we'll do the same thing as we did last time. Home city. Then we have to switch so that the unit isn't deleted. And that's it. Let's see. Yeah, that was the square I wanted to build the city at, wasn't it? Yes, it was. So we built Chittagong over here. And we switch Dutch production to a phalanx unit as well. We're going to sail the ship home and make the people of Delhi happy. Oh no, someone discovered invention. That means our cities are probably going to be quite unhappy now. So we'll need to make some adjustments. We're going to need an aqueduct here to grow the city further. Yes. And here comes the revolts. Let's see, what can we disable for now? 
No, it will get the ship back home. It'll probably stop being unhappy then. That might actually be enough. And Lahore needs more roads. And you're waiting for a new settler. We're gonna find a city there, and I think that's gonna be the last city we build. And we'll have well, we control of this entire continent, so on that island, that's pretty good. Don't think we need more land. Could squeeze in a city north of Delhi, a small fishing village there. Do we want to do that? Maybe it'll get a few good squares. Yeah, well, we'll do that. I think. Okay, two more cities. And we discovered physics. The study of physics came in came into being from abstract theories of mathematics and the practical experience of engineers and sailors. Concerned with the study of matter and energy, and the relationships between them, classical physics dealt with phenomena within the bounds of normal observation, motion, acoustics, thermodynamics and optics. These studies in turn led to further advances in areas such as magnetism and electricity. Modern physics is primarily concerned with the behavior of matter and energy under extreme conditions or at extreme scales. And it's basically a carry through technology. A lot of things it's, it enables. And either the university or magnetism. Hmm. I guess we'll go with magnetism because that ruins. No, it ruins the lighthouse, I think, and we have that. Oh, it doesn't matter. We, it was we were bound to catch up with a technological advance at some point. Oh, wait a second. We're supposed to change the bulk queue. Change the bulk queue. Yes, let's build a marketplace. We need more money. Lots more money. Lots of more money. Is that ship worth it? I wonder. Is it worth keeping? It's costing us a shield. No, I think we'll disband that ship. I should have, should have done that ages ago, but yeah. Let's see, Bombay or Bombay or Madras. Which of them are short of squares? You need these two squares improved. And you can still grow into the forests. Yeah, let's go south and help Madras. I think you'll go out and help the new city. At least connect it by road. And you're still waiting for, for Kata to finish. And we were supposed to invest in the Shakespeare's theater. Yeah, let's do that soon. Oh, next turn. Next turn we can do that. Another library. Let's see. Grow and you should probably switch production squares. Yeah, let's build another defensive unit. I want to have two in each city because if some barbarian, barbarians show up, it's nice to have some backup. Another temple. It's time for you two to build another defensive unit. And you were supposed to build farms. Soon this guy will finish. Well, if I'd been clever, I would have sent the trireme home, but I didn't think of that, to be honest. And now it's too late anyway, it's better to just keep it there. And we're going to need it soon, we're going to need to send diplomats over to speak to the other, other empires. But beyond that, we're going to get another wonder. 
There we go. They do not like me spending the money. And there's Shakespeare's, Shakespeare's Theatre. And that made these people very happy. We do need an aqueduct, otherwise the city can't grow. So even though I'd like to have a library there, it'll have to wait a little bit longer. And I think we'll take another short break here. So thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.